Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our channel, you're just coming across our videos, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now before we get into the business of this video, I'd like to say a congratulations to those who took the trade base on our last analysis of GBPUSD. Um, when we did our analysis within last week, I think GBPUSD was somewhere here and we did say that the market will be going bullish. Yeah, this was Wednesday, to, this was Monday. So within last week, when um, I think that was Tuesday, we did say that the market will sell a bit. That was um, after the news on which news? There was a news on Tuesday, and we did we, we traded the news live, and we did say after this news that the market will be going bullish, and the market did go bullish. So if you took the trade and say um, a big congratulations, you must have made a couple of bucks. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, um, you can see here GBP USD has gotten to um, a pretty low region. Let's compress the screen to see when last it was around here. This was quite a while. It's been long, GBP. Okay, this was um which here was that 2020 the last time gbp usd got this low was in 2020 and of course the last time it got there it started buying this region where it is currently at is an oversold region and of course you can see the rsi it's at an oversold region it has gotten to the oversold region so it's a strong um support region as you can see here and last month we had the market and as a bearish candle then this month we, of course being in the oversold region the only thing or the next thing to expect is a bullish move then let's see the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see um, the market has been selling consistently remember when the market was here we did say the market will go bullish till it comes in contact with the tender simple moving average on the weekly time frame of course that happened and with this is going to sell and make a double bottom on the weekly and daily time frame but here we can see that it even went below the previous low and got to this region so here um in this 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 week sorry as we can see the market has started uh, we, the market ended as a bullish candle uh, making this a bullish arami and of course it shows bullish rejection so we can safely say that um, most likely the bearish move has ended and the rsi on the weekly time frame has gotten to the oversold region then let's see the daily time frame on the daily time frame like we said this was the previous low and started buying made a double top here then started selling and it went below the previous um, support and came this low. And of course, you can see the daily time frame is at the oversold region, and the market is making, um, is gathering momentum to go bullish. Then the last candlestick of last week, that's on the daily time frame, was a bullish candle. And we can see here that the tender simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick, which is a bullish entry trigger. And of course that proposes a bullish move then let's see the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see all of these stories we've been telling the market sold down to this region then we could start seeing bullish momentum when it sells buyers come in and push it again so last week we had the market buy up to this extent then i think this was friday when it sold friday morning when it sold and ended as a small bearish candle so that's what happened within last week now what do we expect from the market this week 
that's what this video is about now considering the daily time frame we have the markets make a bullish engulfing bar here which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern number two we have the tender simple moving average about to cross over the candlestick which is a bullish entry trigger number three we have the rsi at the oversold region and the next thing or the only rational thing to expect after that is a bullish move then on the weekly time frame we have a um, bullish arami the market ends a bullish arami i think that's number four or is it number five then we have um on the weekly time frame also the market get to the oversold region so putting all these facts together we can safely say that the market will be going bullish from here that's the only rational thing to expect the monthly the weekly and the daily time frame all of them has gotten to the oversold region all of them and all of them has shown sign of bullish rejection all of them so this means that um the market is oversold um sellers are running out or sellers has run out of um momentum and buyers are taking over the market so what likely to happen when the market opens is that it could sell a bit till maybe this region you can see this a support region so it could sell a bit to this region and start buying it could also stop when it comes in contact with the tender simple moving average on the day on the four hours time for sorry but it could it's most likely to sell down to this um support region and start buying again then we'll see the bullish move continue um to a great extent then uh, this horizontal line was the our tp or where we're expecting the markets to go but it may not achieve this within this week it could stop around this region let me mark that region so it could get to this region now if it gets there within the week uh, you can see by then it's going to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame when that happens it could make a little pullback and continue the bullish move so we're expecting the markets to go bullish on the overall so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion or you have any question you can use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you want to register for complete forex training check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for our complete forex training if you don't have proper knowledge all you want to do is watch this video for educational purpose and increase upon your knowledge so you don't have to take the trade or you shouldn't take the trade when you don't know exactly what to do now if you want to subscribe for a signal service we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location and we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now